Roughly a, a year ago, I started this trip with Tinitel. Uh, it's a simple mobile phone for kids. Uh, we started accepting pre-orders on our website, and we've already sold 3,000 units with zero marketing. So my team that I'm doing this with, I had just recently done a $20 million turnaround project in Northern Europe, in Sweden. Our uh, head of software had just done an exit from an animation studio that was doing stuff for The Matrix, among other films. And our head of uh, hardware uh, had just built the world's most accurate 2G, 3G time calibration tool. On our advisory board, we have the senior a previous senior vice president from uh, uh, Sony Ericsson, who was in charge of R&D, uh, the guy who had done the first iPod manufacturing run in Shenzhen, uh, two entrepreneurs that collectively had done exits worth more than a billion dollars, and a lawyer from Sweden's most prestigious law firm. So it was roughly a year ago, in conjunction with the launch of MediaTek Labs, that I reached out to Mark and asked him, how am I going to do this? I need really small phone components. And Fortunately, MediaTek has the world's smallest 2G phone chip that I was able to use. But the real story here, what's the problem? What's Tinitel actually solving? There's all this talk about IoT and what's the value in it. And personally, I don't really know where I fit in, but I do know that there is a problem and I'm solving it with Tinitel. So I was hanging out at my friend's house in Oslo and his son wanted to go outside and play, but wasn't allowed to. The son had already lost and broken a smartphone. So my friend said, well, can't you just go to your room and play with an iPad instead? As I was growing up in Memphis, Tennessee, I was outside playing all the time, and I thought that was really sad. So I thought, well, why is there no walkie-talkie-like device on the cellular network? Is there no mobile phone for really active kids? Really? I mean, if you're a parent out there, you know how incredibly important it is to be in touch with your kid, know where they are, be able to talk to them. But there's no mobile phone on the market that does that. So how does it feel when your kid's going to school, when your kid's outside playing and you don't really know where they are, if they're out camping, if they're at an amusement park, if they're just going to a friend's house or playing basketball on the block next door? So that's why Tinitel exists, the solution that we're making. And uh, I can't iterate this enough. Uh, it's really magical how, how a small chip can make this happen. There are a lot of other products that do similar things, but this is the first time we can make a phone that's wearable, that's not too big. Uh, there is competition, but it's not going well for them because it's, they're just too big. So, Tinitel, how does it work? Well, parents no longer have to wonder where their kids are, and kids get to be kids they get their first real mobile phone, which is magical for them. It's really simple. You press this big button and it makes phone calls to a limited contact list that you manage from a smartphone app. The smartphone app is kind of like the command center. You can sit, you can manage who calls Tinitel, uh, what numbers Tinitels can call, if Tinitel answers automatically, wh how it, what happens when Tinitels call each other, kids calling each other. And it also, of course, has this key feature with the GPS tracking. The phone itself has a GPS antenna in it. So with the smartphone app, you can see where your kid is. Yesterday, I was eating dinner with some of the executives from MediaTek, and Dominic was telling me, so it's kind of like a virtual leash, right? <laughs> and uh, that's one way to see it, uh, that you're controlling your kid and that you're subjugating them to this weird technology future that we're all going to. But the, the reports from kids has been unanimous. Uh, they really enjoy uh, playing with Tinitel. It's, uh, it's their first phone. I mean, they see all these smartphones around, and they see walkie-talkies, and they want to have something for themselves as well. I mean, now that wearables are on the rise, kids want something too. Our version 2 product will be more elaborate, a little bit more fun, I guess. It's going to have a screen. We're going to have a watch in there. We're looking at doing brand licensing agreements with Hello Kitty and Batman. Uh, and we're also exploring different games that we could put into the platform, in a way, almost to make a new type of mobile phone for, for niche customers. And, and really, that's what makes this whole thing exciting, is the market about behind Tinitel. I mean, we're talking about uh, going to distribute Tinitel through the telcos around the world. I mean, you all know that the telcos are huge companies and 
The only thing they want is to distribute more SIM cards. So Tinitel gives them this unique opportunity to reach a totally new customer group. And if we're looking at the US market alone, there are 20 million kids between the ages of five and 10 that don't yet have a Tinitel. We should build factories there, right, Mark? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and I guess uh, what, what we're actually doing right now is uh, we're, we're still kind of in this early stage. We're doing R&D, but we're just about to launch now in October. Um, if you want to learn more about Tinitel, you can go to our website, tinitel.com. Uh, we're talking to telcos all over the world, and we've already got an order pipeline of 40,000 units before we're even done with the product. So. I guess what I'd like to say is, in conclusion here, is what really excites me about this product uh, isn't IoT. I'm not an IoT evangelist or something like that, but how many people need a simple communication device? Talking about something that goes back to basics. We have the elderly market. We have people with limited cognitive functionality. And myself, when I'm out surfing, I want to tell my girlfriend that I'm going to be 20 minutes late to catch those last waves. So in conclusion, with Tinitel, we bring peace of mind for parents, and we let kids be kids in a way that it's not possible right now. The iPads have taken over. We help big carriers around the world reach a totally new customer group to begin with as kids, but there are a lot of applications. And we're in situations where, where a smartphone is either too complicated, too fragile, too expensive, we're enabling parents and kids to connect. So, with the world's smallest mobile phone chips provided by MediaTek, we'll be able to bring simple communication back to people that really need it. Thank you.